My name is Luke. I wanted to make this video real quick to explain why you don't use soft solder between copper and steel on refrigeration compressors. What we have here is a scroll compressor that I've uh, disassembled and then looked at the causes for why it locked up and shorted out. Here's the culprit right here. You can see several pinhole leaks all along that solder joint there. This is the suction inlet service valve on a Copeland scroll rotolock valve. There is a threaded hub that goes into the side of the compressor, which is not present right now. You can see some discoloration here between this portion and this portion on the armature. This goes down inside here. Counterweight here, eccentric here where the scroll oscillates on, right here. The guy who did the install used soft solder at that steel valve and could never get it to seal properly. So all of that solder was just melting down between the copper and the steel. And then once the compressor started up, we had a lot of solder entering the suction cavity essentially blowing all over the rotating assembly here and grinding up all of the solder between the armature and the stator this was this compressor was both locked up and shorted to ground as a result There's a lot of scoring on the scroll itself from solder particulate. A lot of soot. This is not from the cutoff wheel. Right here, a lot of soot in and throughout the compressor cavity. The oil was as black as night, and there were several large quarter-inch beads of solder in the oil. Probably the ones that were too big to get ground up. This is a bearing for the scroll head. Nice and chewy. This has been a wobble to death. I replaced the suction valve and the compressor ran approximately two hours before it shorted to ground. Then I got to go back and put a new compressor in. Need to use 45% minimum solder between copper and steel here. Forty-five percent silver.